Hey guys, what is going on? Adam here with Indy Farm Life. Rolling back the farm lane, shoot my intro video because apparently that's what I do now. I'm not sure why, but it's become a thing. Another exciting day working on the pond. So I have not seen it in a week, and Chris tells me Mike has made some significant progress. Had a busy week at work, so I couldn't quite make it over here in the evenings. And uh, he also tells me that the berm is just skying right now, which I'm really more excited to see that, I think. When I left last weekend, it was already significantly tall in some of the corners or the in the corner where the ground falls off. So anxious to see that and get to work. Plus, the D4 is back in action as of today. Earlier this week, they got it fixed. The part came in a little earlier than expected. I don't know how parts do that from Japan, but nonetheless, it's back. Plus, this is the first time that Chris and I have actually had a couple days, full days, working together. So I think the plan is for Chris to hopefully run the 9 Series, me on the D4, because I'm turning in the keys to the 650K, you know, that junker, and uh, Mike and the excavator. So with three machines running for two days straight, we should get quite a bit done. Forecast is 0% chance of rain for the next two days and sunny. So we're going to get some work done, and uh, hopefully one day this pond will be complete. Oh, also I've ordered more gravel, and Chris tells me that they tailgated it in the complete wrong spot, and sure enough, they put it in what will be my front yard. That's fun. Oh, they totally screwed this up. That's a project for another day. All right. Get you guys a look here at where things stand. Mike just took a load out there. I'm on the old girl here at the V4. I'm gonna run out to the north end and watch, uh, I'd like to call him 9 Series Nate, Chris, earn his dozer stripes. It'll be a good day. There's Chris, I'm gonna walk up there This is serious. I'm gonna get a look here at the berm this morning. Like I said, as Chris earns his dozer stripes. Having two dozers out here is gonna be awesome. Excited for the, uh, get run over by Chris, I mean. Oh yeah. This is narrow. Mike wasn't kidding. He's coming in where that deer dozer is, it looks like. Going down this way and then backing in. And dumping right here. Gonna need to figure out the best plan of attack. I'll tell you that there is serious. A little different view for me today. Running the John Deere 650 dozer. Trying to help Mike and Adam get caught up on dozing, so. I'm not sure I'll be a huge help considering I don't really know what I'm doing. But these joysticks are pretty cool. I mean, it's might as well be like my tractor. It's like the same thing. Just when you think you got a good ramp going, it goes and does something like that and makes it awesome. How do you tailgate? 30 ton at a time? didn't think so <laughs> love it okay better get going takes me forever crazy high up here Had to go get a little bit of water and uh, sunscreen. The AC on that D4 is broken. I love it though. Uh, got the berm pretty well cleaned up, so now 
Chris is in the 9 series. He's coming down the trail behind me right here. And I'm going to be out here in the D4, so we'll be using all three pieces of equipment. I'm going to get an awesome shot of this thing. This tractor is just massive. I mean, what a rig. Just eats on the way up there. Need to fix this down here. It's a little bit uh, steep. Spilling out of there. she goes about 400 more of those and we'll be done job switch Adam and I uh, got cut up on the dozing got pretty much all that done so now I'm in the, the haul tractor with the Holmes wagon up in the 9 series and got Mike still over there digging with the 200D and gonna plug at it all day today and tomorrow and I think uh, by the end of this we should uh, be pretty dang close Donnie Dozer or D4 Darren whatever you want to call me on site here in the north end of this, massive project we got going. Got the D4 resting behind me while I wait on 9 Series Nate to bring me some more dirt. This is, uh, this berm's getting to be awesome. I haven't been up by the pond in a little bit. Been out here for like two or three hours. Um, so I have no idea what it looks like. We're turning a load about every six minutes and 30 seconds. Chris said he timed it, so that's pretty impressive. I'm actually not having, a, having too much idle time out here. I think I know why we're doing loads in 6 minutes and 30 seconds. He came around that corner a little fast. A little bit dusty. We need Nick out here with the water wagon. About fell down. Things are moving along up here. I think we started about there this morning. You see where the sides kind of dried out versus not. When it's all said and done, this thing is gonna be huge. You know, like an acre. Water already has a cool color. Tell you what, we got one heck of an operation out here. I'm digging it. That big girl is just eating. I would love to know how much fuel that thing drinks up in a day, towing that thing around. You see the ground moving underneath it. 
It's incredible. Here comes Chris climbing out of his office. Oh, I was just gonna comment to the folks here about how you, this day probably wouldn't be possible without your front ballast here. <laughs> those rocks up there. I find that it gets me the traction I need to go get, up and see Get this thing up the hill there. At least Chris doesn't throttle up when he's trying to dump this thing to save time or anything. It's like sitting next to a tornado. Soda pop, man. Thank you, sir. Day's starting to wind down here. It's about 10 till 6. Uh, I haven't been up by the pond in a while. But out here at the berm, things are uh, looking pretty good. I'll paint around and show you guys. So there's the road in, and I'm sitting now at the far northeast corner. It's really wide. And we've actually uh, picked up an audience down there. You know, good news travels fast. When there's something awesome to watch, why not come out and watch any farm life? And build a berm and dig a pond. Here comes Chris. It is so dusty up there. He's got a tire stuck in his front left tires there. Or a rock stuck in his front left tires there. That thing's a brute. Here comes the dust cloud. Woo! That's some good dry stuff right there. Must be into a top run up there. Well, that wraps up another pretty awesome day working on the pond. As you can see behind me, the hole is getting pretty, pretty big. Let me take a walk down there and show you guys. So that stake there is gonna be the shoreline. And you can see how they kind of go around. Basically follow the grass line. So if you work across here, this is gonna be a pretty large body of water. Obviously an acre. But once you actually start to see it open up, very expensive. Let's walk down here and check on some of these water holes. Maybe throw a dirt clot or two. That's how you really judge the depth of something. Well, I can see the bottom here. Looks like one or two feet. That's the deep end. Adult swim only. back at it tomorrow appreciate you guys tagging along for this pond update video I don't know how many more they're gonna be I think we're well beyond the halfway point but you never know if you would hit that subscribe button hit the like button come back and see us guys appreciate the views and comments take care